In this video, we'll be doing a demo of the LinStore Open Nebula add-on. If you're in need of highly available virtual machines, seamless migrations, and other SAN-like features for your Open Nebula cluster, Limbit Software Defined Storage can be an excellent addition. With LinStore, individual images from an Open Nebula data store are replicated in real time throughout the cluster using locally attached storage and a dedicated storage network. For example, a running virtual machine will have a full block-for-block -block copy of its virtual disk residing on two or more nodes in the cluster at all times. With LinStore bolted up to Open Nebula, a virtual machine can easily survive a host failure. Before we dive in, let me just say that this is not a walkthrough on how to install Open Nebula or how to install LinStore. On our website, we have a very detailed blog post with step-by-step -step instructions on how to install LinStore in your Open Nebula cluster. Again, that's a topic for another day, Let's take a look at our Open Nebula cluster. All right, just logging in really quickly here. Uh, we're immediately greeted by the dashboard. Let's go ahead and check out the infrastructure and the cluster. So here we can see we have three hosts defined. We'll come into the host. We have Open Nebula one through three as our main hosts. In the storage, we have our LinStore image data store, which is going to contain our virtual machine images. And the system data store, which as of version 3.0, no longer uses LinStore's replication. It is simply a directory on each node that stores context files for the running VMs. Now, when you first set up Open Nebula, by default, there'll be an Alpine Linux image in the default data store. And just note that this has nothing to do with the LinStore data stores that have already been configured. Over on the command line, we can see similar information about the cluster and the data stores. One thing to note about this cluster is that we're running the Open Nebula front end as well as the LinStore controller on Open Nebula 0. The worker nodes comprise of Open Nebula 1 through 3, where any of the virtual workloads are going to be running. And in the LinStore world, we would refer to those as satellites, where any of the backing storage exists and the replication is going to be taking place. Running LinStore storage pool list will show us the storage pools defined on each node in the cluster. The LinStore image data store in Open Nebula corresponds to the on image storage pool in LinStore. Under the hood, the storage pool is configured to use an LVM thin pool, enabling us to use thin volumes in Open Nebula. In order to kick things off, we'll go ahead and use the Open Nebula public marketplace. Using the marketplace, we can easily fetch the latest version of Ubuntu and store it on our LinStore back data store. Here we have to just simply select the LinStore image data store and then download the image. Coming back to the command line, we can run a LinStore volume list. This will show us the image that we just downloaded. It's stored in LinStore as Open Nebula image one, and it's available on each node as a block device under slash dev slash drbd1000. Coming back to the GUI, when the new image has been fetched and synchronized to all of the nodes, the status will change from locked to ready. We can now go ahead and navigate to our template list for our VMs, go into our latest Ubuntu image and instantiate it. Go ahead and give it a name here and we'll go ahead and plan for creating three instances with the percent %i. And bear with me here for just a moment. I'm just trying to find where I can set the system data store and target the LinStore system data store. Once we do that, we can go ahead and instantiate these virtual machines. And we'll immediately get a pop-up that three virtual machines are being created. We can come into our actual VM instances here, and we can see that these are still getting up and running. We've got one, now we've got all three. So all three are now up and running. Coming back to the command line, if we run another LinStore volume list command, we can see that all three of our virtual disk images have been replicated to all of the nodes in the cluster. It's important to mention here that each resource can only be primary or in use on one node at a time. This simply means that the block device can be written to on those nodes and the writes will be synchronized to the peers that also have the resource. To demonstrate live migration, we'll come into a new test VM here, and we'll see that we've created a file.txt containing hello world. So we'll go ahead and migrate this from Open Nebula 3 to Open Nebula 2. And this migration happens instantly, pretty much. The memory is obviously transferred from one host to another, and then it's, it's kind of like 
moving a pointer of the disk image from one node to another behind the scenes. And we can see if we come into the virtual machine, we have the same file in the same state on a different node. Coming back to LinStore, we can see that the VM's disk image that we just migrated is no longer in use on Open Nebula 3. It's in use on Open Nebula 2. Again, as mentioned earlier, each node already had a block for block copy of this disk image. During the migration, Open Nebula simply tells LinStore where this image should be in use, enabling instantaneous migrations. The LinStore add on also seamlessly integrates into other Open Nebula functionality, such as snapshots, and we recently added support for Open Nebula's backups feature. So, if you're interested in trying out LinStore and Open Nebula, again, come check out our blog post. It's very thorough with links to other helpful documentation, such as our LinStore user's guide. If you have any questions, if you need some help, or if you're interested in enterprise support, please reach out to us. We're always happy to have a conversation. And as always, thanks for watching.